Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, welcome to a special episode of the podcast where it's just Shane and I. Lizzie's sick, and I was, and he was stressing out and freaking out. And he's like, I don't know what to do. I, Lizzie's sick, and I don't want to get sick, but I need a podcast, and I can't leave the potty and it's hanging. And I was like, Well, how about I replace Lizzie, and I'll donate my payment. <laughs> To Lizzie. Well, I was like, I can't just film with you and without Lizzie. This is technically her job. And he said, well, you can still pay Lizzie and I'll just be free talent. Okay, I thought it would be fun before or while we get into it to try that cookies and cream McDonald's pie. Is they call them pies? Yes, it's a, yes, the, the, the Oreo, what did you, did you say Krispy Kreme? Oh, cookies and cream. Yes, the Oreo cookies and cream McDonald's pie. And I just want to see what's on the McDonald's menu because I haven't been there in a long time. Mm. Like I haven't had a breakdown in a while. I do have Krispy Kreme on the mind though with those M&M delights. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I have so many thoughts. Okay, number one, you just drive. Don't worry, baby, I'll talk. Uh, where are we going? McDonald's. This is McDonald's? It I looks thought. like a rehab. <gasps> There's Panda Express. Should I run in and see if they have the burger? The yes. one's chicken burrito, Don't I worry, mean? I'll keep them entertained. Uh, really? You really are doing the work for all of us. Well, I went on my Instagram and I was like, hey girlies, ask us some questions. Let's do a Q&A 2014 style. So I could do some Q&As while you get a burrito. Okay, Panda Express was doing the orange chicken burrito at certain LA locations. So I did like want to see if that's available. I didn't even know there was a Panda Express right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hurry up because they miss you already. And I miss you obviously. And I don't want to get in the car without you because I'm scared that somebody's going to run in and carjack. Okay, bye. Oh my god, Car Jack. That's a fun name for a podcast. You just talk, Jack. <sighs> Anyways, okay guys, I have a question. So, Big Brother. It, if you don't care about Big Brother, feel free to fast forward. I'm sure Ryan will put a time code. Big Brother is my favorite show of all time. I've been watching since I was, I don't even know, 2000. That was 23 years ago. Bitch, how old am I? I don't know. Uh, bitch, I don't know. I don't know why I keep calling you bitch. I'm sorry, I don't mean it. Anyways, I've been watching Big Brother my whole life. My grandma got me into it, and it was just something we did every Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And now it's coming back. It's back, baby, tonight. Right now, it's back. And I was telling Ryland, I'm like, we should start a Big Brother podcast. Nobody's gonna listen to it, nobody's gonna care. I have the perfect name for it. I was like, we should start a Big Brother podcast and talk about Big Brother every week because it's my favorite thing in the whole world. And Ryland gets really heated and gets in, we get into fights about it. He's yelling, he hates the villains. I love the villains, it's a whole thing. So then I started thinking, we should start a Big Brother audio only podcast. What do you guys think? Is that stupid? Is that too millennial of me? Like, check out my new podcast, audio only. And then I was thinking we could call it Fights with Shane and Ryland. So we could do half Big Brother and half just us fighting about something. Because we fight about something every day in a fun way. So let us know in the comments. Do you want a Fights with Shane and Ryland podcast? Or maybe just an audio only podcast in general. I could have like me and Jared talking about conspiracies. We could do some viewer advice. Like we could just do some fun audio only. Don't have to shower. Don't have to wear underwear podcast. Just a thought. I already got a theme song. Uh-oh, here we go again. Just imagine. Imagine how toxic that would get. You guys are in for a treat. I had two coffees. That's why I'm acting like this. Oh, she said it's only at their test kitchen. No! Which is just awful. Okay, what if we got a tortilla? I literally said, could you just make something like that for me? And she was like, I don't think so. Oh, you said that? I meant get the stuff ourselves and then make it in the car. I didn't mean ask the, the woman at Panda. Well, no, she was very nice and she was giving me all the tips and tricks. She was just like, I don't have a tortilla to even craft that for you if I wanted to. All right, well, let's just go to McDonald's. I was telling them about our idea about a, about a podcast with just me and you, audio only, half Big Brother, half fighting. Oh. But I didn't tell them the title yet. Uh, oh. Well, there's two titles. Well, the, the title of the audio only podcast would be Fights with Shane Ryland. Check out in the link description. It's out. I Wait, really? I don't know. Should we do it? I think, I mean, you know what? An audio only podcast, which I know that you would turn into a video podcast. No. Would be too, the video is too much work. The audio would be fun. And well, we're not going to get rid of the video. What do you mean? For the main podcast. Oh, no, of course not. But if we're adding a third podcast to my play. Here's the thing. His tone of voice is fighting. Even when we're not, we weren't fighting just now, but didn't that feel like a fight? It, I realize, I do realize, even when I was editing my vlog this week, 
I do scream a lot. Yes. And especially on when we're Skyping, like we've been Skyping a lot of mommies and daddies to, to get baby advice. And I'll be like, so how is it raising a baby? And then Rylan will be like, yeah, we really want to know what it's like with it. And I'm like, girl. But he tells me live on the Skype with them. And I'm like, oh, see, I'm doing it again. I get too excited. I'm too excited. You know what? I don't want to dim your shimmer, baby. <laughs> get excited. Yell. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams. It's been like 20 minutes. With special guest. Lizzie Shane Gordon, Dawson. Chris Bringer. Hello, hello oh, everybody. The <gasps> there they are. Oh my gosh. I gotta compare it to the apple pie too. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. Could I please get the cookies and cream pie? I was right. Uh, how many? Uh, just one of the cookies and cream pie. Wow, keep okay. me on a diet. Um, and then can I get an apple pie? Why? Okay. I gotta compare it to the apple pie too. And then do you have any other featured items right now? Yeah, we have apple pie and the cookies, cream pie, and where Oh. Uh, Don't ask that. Um, okay. One second. Anything else? I just want to drink, but do they have anything zero calorie? Um, oh. oh, no. It seems know. like they don't. Uh-oh. Just can, give me a water. A can water. I just get a small water and a small unsweetened iced tea? Okay, a small water and a uh, small iced tea. Dasani water? Yes, unsweetened oh, if possible. Okay, yeah. Thank you. That's all. I think you're pretty much done. Okay. Somebody said that Dasani water tastes like water that's been sitting in a water gun for two days. <laughs> I've never related more. That is exactly what it tastes like. Wait, are they going to give that to you? What? A Dasani water bottle. Is that what it is? I, I hope not. Well, I just I just wanted a, like a nice, cute little water moment. You didn't have to give me a whole bottle, baby. Are you going to tell them what we just did today? What? What do you mean? Oh. I no. dragged. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. You guys don't want to hear this. <laughs> no, well, now they have to hear this. No, I can't. You guys already know this. He's obsessed with open houses. He's obsessed with moving. We're not moving. We're not moving. But he, we don't even know where we're living. <laughs> He's obsessed with houses. So we went to an open house and I went in being like, well, we're not going to get a house. Like, whatever. And then, of course, I love the house and he loves the house. And we're just like, oh, my God. And I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> no. Stop. Yeah, we got to so, stop. No, we got to stop. So now we're eating pie. The only thing that was great about it. Oh my gosh, okay, wow. Oh, your car sucks. What the hell? Hello. What were we talking no. about before this? Oh, Q&A. Thank care. you, you Thank too. you. Uh, all right, let's see what some of the cues are so I can get my A ready. Wow, you really are producing the podcast too. I'm only doing that because you've been annoying me so much lately. Oh my, like, what? I'm stressed. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have so many podcasts. I'm such a working mommy. No. And I was like, let's okay. just do one in the Hold car. On. Hold your thoughts. So what I'm really doing is being nice. No. The reason I'm stressed is because our... Closer. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Sadie wants to know, how do you guys keep such a happy, healthy relationship? <laughs> well, Sadie. Thank you. Fight a lot. Thank you. I fight do, a lot. I wouldn't say but we, we do. make up every time. When's the last time we actually had a serious fight that we Two were? Two days ago. No. What was it about? Because I wanted to extend the trip here oh. a couple days so I could get a couple videos done, and you were very angry about it. Yes, we came to work, but my one of my beige flags. Have you heard about that? No. So that? not a red flag, not a green flag. Oh, well, God. I guess this is a red beige flag. Beige flag. It's some sort of That's flag. That's too close to the other F word. <laughs> Which, by the way, Big Brother, speaking of Big Brother, we'll get back to your beige flags, but everybody's like, oh, there better not be a homophobic person on Big Brother. There better not be a problematic person. I'm like, bring it on. There's nothing better than a season of Big Brother where there's a homophobic person and a really gay, flamboyant person like him, and then they're forced to live together, and then the homophobic person comes around and is like, I met my first gay person, and I loved him. Like, that's what we want, Big Brother. Oh, okay, the going. tension's nice. Like, that's yes. what we're watching the live feeds for because we're watching real life. Nothing unfolds. better than a straight person accidentally saying the F word. <laughs> nothing better. <laughs> It's my, what's the opposite of a dick? It's my, um. Green flag. Okay. Um, okay, my, I don't even, no, this is just straight up a red flag because I get really frustrated because we've never gone on a trip where Shane doesn't extend the vacation, the trip, the anything. Like, we've never gone somewhere where you're like, we're well, gonna, like, we can never stick to okay. a plan. Can I explain super fast because they're probably bored by yeah. this? Okay. Um, and I'm not saying you're boring. I'm saying this topic is boring. I brought it up. So it's my fault. So I, I, it takes me a few days to stop stressing. Like if we go out of town, I stress a lot. I'm nervous. I'm not in my environment. I'm out of my routine. I'm stressed. 
a few days later, I'm in my new routine. I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. So that's when I'm like, wait a minute. I haven't enjoyed the first half of this trip. I need to enjoy the trip. So I extend. And then he, he doesn't like I'm changing the plan. He's not flexible. And that's the problem, baby. I'm so flexible. I'm a pretzel, baby. And I... I think being more impulsive and flexible is going to help you in the long run. So that's why we have a healthy relationship, Sadie. But it does piss me off. Yeah. I finally folded, and here we are, working. <laughs> uh, okay, somebody said, you guys should have Jeffree Star as the auntie slash uncle, very uh, non-binary of <laughs> you, uh, uh, and make a vlog meeting. Uh, yes, I've already talked to Jeffree about being Uncle Jeffrey. I love that. Also, JoJo, I don't know if this is doxing. But Jojo texted me the other day. Wow. Smells like it might be dry. No. But what? the flavor profile is really good. Jojo texted me the other day and she's like, can I be Auntie Jojo? And I was like, bitch, our boys, our boys are wearing bows. Oh, hell yeah. And I yeah. don't even care if that's problematic. So yes. Look at that. Wow. It really is gorgeous. I guess I need to break it apart too yeah. on camera for everyone. Oh. Wow. Okay, Ariana wants to know, what's your guys' biggest icks about each other? It's so warm. Oh my god, here it comes. Chewing. Oh, not... It, I, this is a nice chew. Mm. It's soft. And this is incredible. Not it's really warm. It's gooey. The flavor is just right. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's not dry. It's cold. Mm. It's smooth. The flavor's just right. <laughs> I'm on a diet. This is incredible. Are you really? What do you mean, am I really? That's so rude. Well, no, you're always eating healthy. You really... Oh my gosh, that's so rude. I'm in my healthy era. I'm trying to get healthy for my children coming. I'm not eating crap. Trying to stick to it. No, I don't even I'm not think... embracing diet culture. Don't worry, guys. But you know, I do have obesity in my genes, bitch. And guess what? My genes are busting out the seams. So we're we're getting it together. Wow. I don't want to have a heart attack. I don't think I've had one of these in years. We're gonna compare it to the cookies and cream. Mm, it is nice and delicate. That was an ick. Mmm. Also Oof. good. Can you imagine if I just punched you in the face? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Are we done? I love you. Ooh. Wow. Oh, no. I'm getting angry, and I don't want to show that side of myself. I have to save Big Brother. It's pretty good. Oof. Oh, we stopped talking about our podcast. Is it going to be three times a week because that's how often Big Brother's on? I've already decided maybe we shouldn't do it. Oh. I think because I'm angry at you right now for chewing, and now I need to come back from that. I would honestly say the cookies and cream one is better, and it's worth the trip to McDonald's for. I gotta think of things I love about you. Here's a trick for my girls out there who have misophonia, and my boys, and my non-binary non toys. Uh, when somebody is chewing and you want to kill them, you have to mm. think about all the things you love about them. Thinking about, oh, my, oh, it's so cute when you do, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, well, no. this is practice for your future children. I did see a vlog comment that was like, this is not a hate comment. I'm not trying to be mean, but what is Shane gonna do? when there's twins that are eating really loud. AirPods. <laughs> AirPods. Transparency <laughs> mode. So I'll still hear my babies. And they won't even know they're in. I'll learn how to read lips. Because I'm very adamant that we're doing family dinner every night. At least five nights a week. You know what I mean? Like once the kids are a little bit older, four or five, it's like 6 p.m. We're all sitting at the dinner table. We're talking about our highs and lows from the day. And that's how it's going to go. Okay. No, it is. I'm excited. Mm. Um, this is delicious. Mm. Let's see. I'm trying to find a, a question that won't start a fight. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Mm. Have you guys uh, started working on the nursery yet? Yes, we have some cribs. Well, bassinets. Also ordered the cribs. Oh, wait, I should have read who that was from. That was from Nikki. Um... Okay, uh, 26 VNA said, what parenting style will you guys follow? I don't know what that, what parenting style? Is there like different words for that? Like, I'm a blank parent, I'm a, I'm a this parent. Probably, we're not that deep into it yet. I mean. I already know 
how we will be different. How? Well, you're not loosey-goosey. You're going to be kind of annoying and anal. You're going to be very like, you know, do this, do this, do this. And I'm going to be the one that like sneaks in the room at one in the morning. And I'm like, guys, should we go get a Froyo? Like, should we, should we do a McDonald's run? Like, come on. Like, daddy doesn't have to know. Like, I'm going to be like, fun dad. But also like, you know, teaching them empathy and like all of that. You'll be more like, <sighs> But also, like, the adventurous one. Like, you'll be the inside of your, like, spontaneity. Spontaneity? Spo <laughs> inside of that, you're also, like, the worry wart. Where I'm going to be like, all right, let's learn how to ride a bike. All right, let's be adventurous. You're going to be like, no, no, no bikes. No bikes. And I'm going to be like, no, they have yeah. to ride bikes. That is going to be hard. Especially when the kids start learning how to walk. They're going to fall a lot. And I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Oops, I just responded to somebody. Okay, I hope I didn't say anything bad. Um, okay. What is... What? Rylan's opinion on your music career. My pop star husband, come on back, girl, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of a lot of his music. I really am, and specifically your Christmas songs. As soon as, like, November hits, we're playing Shane's Christmas songs. Uh, do a Bratz doll podcast. Oh, interesting. Like, we all dress up as Bratz dolls. Or we hold the Bratz dolls and we talk for them. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. Is that sad? Or no, we can do that. <laughs> like, grown men, like, holding up dolls. Or we all... I think it is better. On your podcast, you dress us all as Bratz dolls. I am dying to see both Chris and Jared in drag. I know. They won't do it. It's, I love Losers. them, but it's, it's kind of annoying. They're both just like, I don't know. And I'm like, come on. Put on a wig. Uh, what's something boring... Oh, this is from Crumps. <laughs> what's something boring about you both that nobody would think of? Something boring. I would say I'm pretty boring. <laughs> in general. I don't like to do much or leave the house. I could watch Big Brother all day and not talk. Well, you always joke that I could live on the couch. Like, I could be exclusively bound to the couch. Yes, you could. Yeah. Um, you're boring things. Um, you watch a lot of boring YouTubers. What? Not gonna name names. <sighs> a lot of I... the YouTube you watch is pretty boring. Yeah, they're people doing nothing, which I find with, like, very minimal editing, doing nothing, and it's a very specific mood I have to be in. It's, like, right before bed, it's, like, what I watch to fall asleep. Yeah, if I watched that before bed, I'd go into a coma. <laughs> it's like that boring. It's like <laughs> girls who all look the same and they're just like, they're like, I made spaghetti again. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> girl, I know. And it's not even spaghetti, it's zucchini. Like, it's just, it's that. Mm -hmm. It's very much that. Uh, it's giving beige flags. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, what's your beige or red flag about me? It, what? Do you have like a red flag about me? What? Like what's your warning for people about me? Or one of my habits? Uh, you can't be wrong. Oh, that's correct. You can't Especially see if both he's sides of something. You can't not fight when... I have tried... So we got into an actual fight on the podcast. The other podcast. An actual like really bad fight where I had to turn the cameras off for a minute. <sighs> and I was like, I need to leave for a second. Because it was like, he wouldn't... Get. he wouldn't see my, uh, other people's side of something and I understand that I was maybe being a little aggressive too actually no I really wasn't was I being aggressive I don't think so I don't even you remember the details I... and then and then we talked about it and he's like never bring up that subject again I'm like okay so then a few episodes later I brought it up again as a joke we start talking about the subject it's about the blue and black dress which we brought up the subject i thought it's over it's like we've done it for five episodes on shane's podcast and he brought a different angle and it's like for me when something like like an argument about nothing really comes up it's like i will stand on tables i will scream to prove a yes. point i will say like not mean things but i'll like be really aggressive yeah. and then after the conversation's over i can like turn a new leaf and be like oh we were playing a game that was fun and shane takes it very no it's the same as when we play mafia like if i lie during Ma if i lie during mafia and i'm like adamant in my lie shane takes it personally in real life so i don't like playing games with shane i don't like you shouldn't what no <laughs> stupid no i don't I don't like doing that kind of stuff with you because you 
you take it as real life. For example, we play, his family likes board games, and I do, I used to, uh, until I started playing with him, because when you play a board game with him... I'm competitive! It, but competitive in a place where, like, there's a line. There's a no, line where fun. you cross... <laughs> that sounds you, fun. You cross the line to where you start throwing personal attacks. No. And then you're like, you'll say things like, like, okay, if I win something, right? Like, say, sorry, and I sorry him. And I'm like quiet, I'm a quiet, like, what does Morgan call me? Like a quiet, dangerous, I forgot what she calls me, but I'm very, oh, silent but deadly. Wait, that's a fart. You know what I mean? So I don't boast, I don't brag, I don't cook, I don't clean. I don't say like, I'm winning, bitch, because I know everything could change in a second, bitch. 2020, we all remember. So so when I'm playing sorry with him, I knock him out, I peacefully put him in his, in his home, in his place, and then I just sit there, and then he'll like look at me and he'll be like, Oh, look at him, pretending he doesn't care. Look at what he did. Look at how, oh, he's so nice. Oh, he's not being mean. Like, and then it like eggs me on. And then all I want to do is say, shut up, shut up, shut up. So it's that. Or Monopoly. Don't get me started. Oh my gosh. So yes, what we're talking about? I like to have fun. They're <coughs> inconsequential to me. Like a game, it's just, it's fun. Cause yeah, you're winning, you're losing. It's up and it's down. I like to play hard. I would say the first time we played Monopoly with your family, I got into, not a fight, but like, I really thought your family hated me because I did a move. I don't remember what it was, but your brother, like everybody turned on me and was so upset by it. And I was just like, wow, they hate me now. I'm never playing games with this family ever again. No, and then the game ends and we're all like, cool. <laughs> I don't know. So what we were saying is, yes, beige flag or red, whatever the fuck, <laughs> is any game with him or Mario Party or anything like that. If you like to horrible. have fun, hit me up. I mean, like me and my friends in my early 20s, that's how we had fun. We'd like get in arguments about things that don't matter. And are you friends with them anymore? <laughs> yes. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, no. <laughs> Maybe because you guys hated each other and it wasn't real. I mean, this is also coming from me, who has, uh, let me see, no friends. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean. I think it's like that, that your energy is very much, um, during the black and blue dress thing, he just can't see that I'm not lying, that I see blue and black, right? He's like, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. I'm like, I see blue and black. And he's like, you're lying, you're lying, lying. And then that's when he starts getting really angry and upset. And then Jared and Chris and everybody will be like, well, I see what I can see that you're not lying and you see something else. And Ryland's like, I don't, you're no, lying. You guys like backed me into a weird corner and then I got upset. So I don't remember anyways, the specifics. What's the next question? Anyways, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, let me see. A lot of asshole questions. Really? What like, do they want to know? What colors your butthole? I don't even no know. No way. Mm -hmm. You'd have to tell them. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen it. Mine? Mine. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you ever wanted to break up from Ariana? Uh, Adriana? Oh. You want to keep on fighting? Have we ever considered breaking up? I only remember that one time in the previous, I mean, like not Colorado, not the house in California, but the previous house where I had actually drove away and I was like, I don't know if we're going to make it. Do you remember what that yes. fight was? You know and what it was about? What? We got into a fight after we played Mafia. No, that, yes. no. Yes. It, no. Yes. Yes. We played Mafia with his friends. And Rylan did this thing. He got on the table and he's screaming at me and about something in Mafia. If you guys don't know what Mafia is, it's a game. It's like Big Brother, basically. But there's a secret person in the group who's killing everybody. It's like a murder mystery. And I turned to him, right? So we're playing the game and he's fighting, going crazy on the table. And then we, it's a bathroom break. I turned to him and I'm like... Are you actually the mafia? Be, as like boyfriend to boyfriend, like just like let's keep That's it real. That's fair. I was like, well, are you actually the mafia? And he was just like, no. And I'm like, I swear to God. Or I so you said something like that. And I was like, okay. So I won't. I won't start fighting him, right? So we play the game. Turns out he is the mafia. <laughs> and I was just like, and then he jumps up and he's like, ha 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 ha. I am. And it like scared me. It gave me sociopath vibes. And I was just like, okay, his eyes already are like really crystal blue and like big. And like, he also now lied to me and swore on something. Like it scared me. And then so, yeah, later I'd be that- good at Big Brother. Late, I know, you should go. Somebody put me in. Later that night, I was like, 
that kind of freaked me out. And then you're like, what? We were playing a game. And I was like, well, maybe we shouldn't play games like that anymore. And you're like, you don't want to play games with my friends. And we got to an actual fight about it. And then, yeah, you stormed out and you're like, I can't, I can't, I'm leaving. Fuck you, fuck you. And you took your keys. This is like a year into our relationship, not even. And he just left and he's like, I'm moving out because you had just moved in. And I was like, wait, is this real? And I waited at the house thinking it was not real. And then you came back, you were cooled down. And I was like, well, okay, let's move on. And you were like, no, we, we broke up for five minutes. And I was like, <laughs> we did? Because I just postmated something for us to eat. I didn't know we broke up. So that was the only time we've ever had a real I think that's the only fight. time I ever like left the house because of a fight. Yeah. And I didn't know it was that bad. I was just more scared because because then because I was scared because I was like, are you a sociopath? Because oh like I've gosh. had too many issues. No offense to the sociopath community, but I've had too many issues with people coming into my life thinking I'm their friend or their lover or whatever. And then, you know, they're actually uh, secretly trying to kill me. And I'm like, oh, and I was like, is this happening? again? No, I it all ties back to I just learned I can't play games that are fun with you. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, okay, let's do something nice. Okay. What's your favorite thing about each other from Sarah Roby? Hmm. Your spunk. I'm trying to, my spunk. Like you're spunky. That's not my favorite thing. I was just trying to think of something cute. Like you're spunky like a cat. I would say like one of my favorite traits of yours is also what annoys me the most. And it's that you're adventure. I, I know like we're both boring people, but inside of us being boring, you are very adventurous. You bring a lot of like a lot of adventure to my life where I would just have the same routine every day without you. Thank you. That was so sweet. Um, hmm. <gasps> Favorite thing about you. It's very hard, huh? I, I have so many. Oh, you're not saying any of them. Okay, where do I start? Um... I like, hmm, I'm trying to think of something I've never talked about before, because we already know the obvious ones. I love you, you're funny, you care about me, you're very mothering, um, you're sensitive. You've gotten a little too sensitive lately. What? Um, so what is that supposed to mean? You're very sensitive. No, i not. You've gotten very sensitive, but we're not going to fight. We're not going to fight. This is a nice thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, I mean, what? Give an example. So, like, okay. Oh, 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 perfect. No, this is going to start a fight. Let me get to the nice things and then we'll do the fight. No, tell me what I'm okay. too sensitive. No, no, um, no. Let's pack something on that's serious and then tell me how great I am. I have, you are, I would say, I've never met a person who was more loyal, who I trust more with my entire everything. Like, I know for a hundred million bajillion percent fact that we were meant to be together and that you're never ever going to do anything. I hope this doesn't get used in the future when you get divorced, but, but yes, that's how I feel. And that's something very, very rare. And I'm so grateful to God for bringing us together. So that's a nice thing. And you're just very, very funny. And you make me, I've never hung out with somebody where I haven't gotten bored. Like we were together 24 hours a day and I'm, I wake up every day excited to see you, which is crazy. It's been eight years, seven years. So that's positives. Negatives. Uh, yeah. So the other day, I had new merch coming out, and I was like, okay, I need... Oh, of my merch. God. Wait. This was our last fight. So then I was like, can you just take a picture of me really fast by the barn? And he's like, okay. So we walk outside. Let me finish. We walk outside. I'm standing in front of the barn. I'm going to just take a picture. I'll make it fast. <laughs> Takes a picture, and he's like, oh, the lighting is horrible. It's too bright. And I was like, I'm sure it's fine. And he's like, no, it's horrible. Let's go inside the barn. I already know inside the barn the lighting is horrible because we've taken pictures in there, and I did not like them. So... He hands me my phone. I look at the picture. He's already in the barn setting up. I look at the picture and I'm like, oh, the lighting is good. Uh, the lighting's good. And you're like, no, it's horrible. It's good in here. And I'm like, okay. So we go inside the barn. He's taking pictures. He fl I want the flash. He doesn't want the flash. He has a vision. And it, I'm starting to sweat now. It's hot in the barn. The alpacas are like, what's happening? What's happening? I look at the pictures and they're horrible. And I was just like, and then I made a joke because we had taken so many. And I was like, well, it's not like any of them are going to be good anyways. <laughs> I was joking. What's no, that? you're not. This also pushes on a pressure point from the last time I tried to take your merch photos where we went to 20 different locations on the property and you didn't like any of them. Now, let me just say this, and I love you so much. Uh -huh. You are horrible taking pictures. I'm not, though. Hello, you guys. I wanted to take a second to thank today's sponsor, which just so happens to be ZocDoc. I love ZocDoc for so many reasons because I know you've all been on the hunt for a doctor before, and you're literally asking every single person you know for a recommendation. 
option for a doctor that gets you, who will actually listen to you, but also makes you feel comfortable. And when you finally find the one, you call the office, you're all excited because the receptionist tells you they have an appointment, but then your world comes crashing down when you find out they don't take your insurance. I'm here to tell you, you can wipe your tears away, you can put down that ice cream and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you and takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, who are located near you, and that will treat almost any condition you're searching for. The average wait time to see a doctor that you've booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 48 hours. You can even score same day appointments. You can find the doctor you want and book them immediately with just a few taps. I use ZocDoc so frequently, especially because Shane and I go back and forth between two different states and I'm like, oh, well, I need this doctor in this place and I no longer have to panic and spiral. I can log on to ZocDoc and find a specialist, whether I've thrown out my back or I have crazy allergies. ZocDoc has always been there for me. So go to ZocDoc.com slash the sip and download the ZocDoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash the sip. ZocDoc.com slash the sip. <clears throat> I'm horrible. Like, I well, let's put some up. Or no, I don't want you to have to edit. Uh, I'll just show you. I'll just tell you guys. No, He's horrible. I can put them up. You can see in the vlog, his most recent vlog, check it out. You can see every picture I took of you and your mom was fucking beautiful. And every picture you took looked like a train wreck. And you even used a meme in your video that's like a cancer <laughs> picture versus... A, so you have to know that it's true. And you know this. And it's been an ongoing theme no, in our no, life where I, I get your sickening ass Instagram you picture. You don't. And then you take pictures I'm of me in a position where I, I like, look like Grimace. If I'm, I'm in like, a, no, if I'm in a picture. Bad if, lighting. If I'm in a setup I like with Riley or something, I'm like, Shane, take a picture. He always takes it and it looks bad. Because, and, okay, can I explain? Mm -hmm. So, and I love you. You have no vision. So, <laughs> Your vision, like when you're like, oh, this is a good moment for a picture. And in my head, I'm thinking this lighting is bad, no. this room is bad, there's nothing interesting in the background. Like, And so I'm like, no, I don't want to take a picture of this because it's not going to look good. And you're like, no, take one, take one, take one. So I do. I, and those are bad. Well, but, but when it's a moment where I have a vision and I'm like, ooh, stand there, do this, and I take the picture, it's sickening as fuck. You know this. We've done so many videos on your channel with like outfit reveals and stuff where I take sickening pictures of you and you're like, oh my God, that's sickening. But here's the disconnect. And then... Anytime I have a vision for me where I'm like, oh, me standing in front of the barn in this shirt, whatever, and then I give you the camera, you can't execute the vision. And that is frustrating. No, the disconnect is we both have different versions in our head of what we want for photos. And a lot of times when you take my photos, yes, they look good, but they have elements in them that I don't like. Like it's at an Your angle hair. that makes my teeth look weird or I don't like my hair, which is a deal breaker for a good picture for me. Like I'm not gonna post it even if I think the picture is good, but I don't feel I look good. With Shane, he is a director. Like you, are you listening to me? I stopped. Okay, but listen to me okay. because I listen to you. Put it down. So you, he's a direct, I can't focus when you're not listening to me. Because girl, they're bored. No, you, no, they weren't bored when you were talking? No. <laughs> 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 girl, you're, listen, your pictures just, are bad, girl. No. I feel like I'm in a courtroom. Oh my and the gosh. Evidence, the evidence has been shown. And the crazy bitch that murdered her <laughs> husband who shits in a diaper. You guys remember her with the big eyes. You're that woman and Shane? you're screaming at the jury. Okay. And you're I'll like, make it listen short. to me. And the jury's like, bitch, we are no, you murdered short. him. Shane has a very specific vision in his head. I can't read his mind. So the pictures don't turn out how he likes them, even though they're still fine. And he doesn't speak up. Like when I was in the barn trying to find good lighting, he wasn't like, no, I want the picture right out here outside of the barn. So I like took on doing it and you still ended up posting the picture. So whatever. Okay. On my second Instagram. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you. Um, okay. Oh, see, he wants to start the fight, but then he doesn't want to give me the time to rebuttal into like why it is how it is. You repeat yourself a lot. And then. I would say you repeat yourself a lot. You're a repeater. He's standing outside the barn. Like, what did you say to me? What's your favorite body part on each other? Oh, what well you go first oh it's gonna be something on my face i hate girls you know <laughs> you know that's annoying when your boyfriend's like i love your nose what do you want me to say your arm like what what's wrong with you're my not arm? gonna say like my abs either i don't have that them what's wrong with my arm no nothing but it's like you're not gonna Did say you hear that you're not gonna say something about my body either yes i was what 
Well, no, you go first. You well, no, because like you were just saying it's annoying that I'm not going to choose a part of your you body. You like my body. Yes, I do. You're actually looking, like, really sickening lately. He really has, like, what you're doing is working. So you, you didn't like my body before? Oh, my God. It's impossible. All my ladies get it. I g- it's I, so annoying when your boyfriend night. or your husband is like, my favorite part about you is your confidence. You're like, oh, my God. That? No, I would be honored if you said that. But I was. We had family over last night, and he was standing, like, across the kitchen. And when they were leaving, we were walking back inside, and I was like, I was looking at you from across the room, and you're looking so good. And you don't take that seriously. Oh. No, because that insinuates I looked bad before. No, I'm just kidding. I, I was. I said thank you. Okay. I said thank you so much, and then I spiraled about it later. Cause I'm okay, like, so what's your favorite thing about me? My appearance, I guess, is what it was. Your butt. Really? Wow. Anyways. <laughs> I like your ears. Thanks. <laughs> no, I like your body. I like that I... Oh my gosh. I'm out. If there were two of me, I wouldn't be into it. Like, if there were two, like, really, like, twiggy boys. That's... What is that supposed to mean? Oh my you're calling gosh. Me fat. No, I'm not. You're six something. Are you over six foot? I don't know. You're over six foot. Like, you know. Thanks. It's not that you're big. <laughs> <laughs> We're oh not doing gosh. a podcast anymore. The link not, is no longer in the description. And this is not We're good. Done. This is not good for us because we do, in my opinion, have a healthy relationship, but this has just been us fighting. I, I don't it's think fun. you should. I don't think you should title a podcast "Fights with Shane and Ryland" because that, that everyone's going to be on the internet like they have such an unhealthy relationship. No one's going to care. Okay. <laughs> no, nobody. Okay. Trust me, we're good. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, let me find another happy one. Oh, interesting. This is from OMG. It's Lupita. How does Ryland feel about you having a flirty personality? Do I have a flirty personality? Yes, you're oh, always me. trying to fuck Chris on the podcast. Oh, that's a joke. Yeah, it is a joke. And it, it, like, yes. I mean, there's not a world in which that's serious, you know? No. Huh. And I'm also, yeah, I'm... Do I have a flirty personality? I mean, I yes. I guess just in the on in, the podcast to Chris is like a joke. Mm-hmm. But I don't flirt with anybody. Like, I'm not like one of... There's those people who, like, when you go to a restaurant, it's so awkward, and that person will just be, like, to the waiter, like, Hey. Hey. How you doing? Oh, wow. You're pretty. Can I get some water? Like, that kind of shit gives me the ick. So, I'm not that. You do do that to Chris in videos, but it's very not threatening. It's not real. Well, that's Chris a joke. Has a boyfriend. I should stop doing it just because it's getting old, and it's, like, whatever, but... It, it is fun, though. I mean, it's... No, you know. it is funny, because, like, Chris gives such funny reactions, but... Uh, but yeah, as far as flirty, flirty, I would say I'm not in real life. <laughs> Cause I don't think anybody would fuck me. So why would I flirt with anyone? When we were dating, you were very flirty and it was very fun. Like I had to, who? So, to me. Oh, I thought you meant to other people. No. Well, that's different. That's, uh, I'm dating well, I'm, you. But that's the last time we dated. So you saying I'm not flirty with you anymore. Do you flirt with me? Yes. You, but you don't flirt with me and you never have. And we did talk about that on one of our first dates. You were like, I'm not going to give you compliments. And I was like, no, that's not true. And you said, I'm not going to give you, I don't give compliments because I have to really mean it. I'm not one of those people that can give. I said, I don't give, I don't just give out blanket compliments that I don't sincerely mean. That is the truth. That doesn't mean I don't compliment you though. Right. It's very rare, but when it happens, it's a special treat, (laughs) which is nice. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Um, take uh, take Rylan more seriously. Have the deep, hard conversation. What? What? We do have deep conversations. Yeah. <laughs> no, we do. Um, will you be slowing down or stop making videos as much when the baby comes for both of you? Um... I mean, nobody can truly say until it happens. I will. <laughs> Fuck. 
I mean, I definitely want to be very present. I want to be there. I want to enjoy it, even as stressful as it might be with two babies and just all that comes with that. I want to try to enjoy it. And I don't want to worry about like, oh, I have to run to the other room to edit it. We are taking steps to like try to find editors that can help us so that we can still put out videos and we can still have like a presence. But at least for the first couple or three or four months, it, there will probably be less of us. Yeah. I mean, the podcast will keep going because that's, we've got that down to a formula of like filming it. Like, so that'll keep going. And this podcast will too, I'm sure, because honestly, the kids will probably come when we take our two week break for the holidays anyways. It will. I'm, <laughs> what? We're going to take longer than a two week break. But what I'm saying is we will stop. Like I'm, my plan is to stockpile videos, um, podcasts. I have a new series type thing I'm working on for the second channel where I can like, I have a set up for it. So I want to film some of those. So like, I want to have videos ready to go. But yeah, as far as like, we're not going to be, you know, vlogging, like it's 3am and we're breastfeeding. Like, I don't think we're, we're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, though, maybe you'll get tidbits of that, but it's not going to be... I mean, we're not going to be breastfeeding. We, st we still need to have a serious conversation about that. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a difference Not about from, breastfeeding. We're no, not doing it. There's we a difference between, like, making the kids the focal point of the vlog and being a parent. I think we can still talk about being parents and what we're going through. We talk about, like, what we're going through now with their yeah, journey to bring but in. But I really now. don't want to show them. I just feel scared about that. Yeah. I mean, like if, if there was a comment about my child, I would get the IP address of the person, hire a private investigator, <laughs> go to their house and fucking do something horrible. And so I can't risk that because I'm too unstable for that. And I know that about myself. So oh we're my not going to do that. So I don't know. We'll figure that out. Coming in the next audio only podcast. <laughs> Um, okay. If y'all were to have girls, what would their names be? Mm. Oh, we've kind of already thought about this. I know. Do you want to go first? Well, do you want me to give away one or two? Oh. I mean, we kind Don't of Don't give have... away mine. Which one? They're both kind of from you. Oh, that's true. Okay. Well, give away the one that's more likely not mine. Parker. Yes. We like the name Parker for a girl. I think that's really cute. Yeah. And then... I was thinking, call me crazy. I was thinking Chandler. And I know Chandler's a boy name, and Chandler from Friends, but I love Chandler so much. I love the character Chandler. Friends is such a big part of my life. Um, but I've never met a girl named Chandler. And I was like, wait a minute, Chandler is kind of an iconic girl name. Yeah. So yeah, I Chandler think it is Parker. cute. And so. Chandler Parker, they sound similar, just like Jet and Max. Chandler Parker. Parker. Oh wait, that's hard to say. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But as of now, those are our two girl names. That we like, yeah. yeah. But we still haven't figured that out what we're going to do. Like, are we going to adopt a girl? Are we going to do what we did with the boys? We don't really know yet. Yeah, I mean, I think everything will depend on how we adjust to life as parents. I definitely think we want more than two kids. So we'll probably at least have one more eventually. But I guess it will just all vary. Okay, this is a nice one. It's from Kiana. How did you know that Rylan was the one? And Rylan, how did you know that I was the one? I think... I think, oh, I'm trying, I like, I'm thinking of a moment that's very cheesy, but I've never been more authentically myself around a person. Like, I feel comfortable to be exactly who I am, and I haven't changed myself to be with you. And so, we were never playing games, like, we were pretty much, like, yes, in the first three dates, maybe we weren't fully aligned, but as soon as we started dating, there was no games, you know? It was never like, he's not texting me back, or he's playing games like mm. this, and then as we were dating more and more, it just, like, you just know, because it wasn't it wasn't difficult, it wasn't hard, it was never awkward, we mesh really well together, we can sit next to each other all day and it's never weird, we wake up together like you were saying and we're always excited to have like, well my lunch and your morning together. We always spend like an hour right out the gate together like that and we always have a good time doing that. Yeah. Uh, that 
I would say I used to remember the exact moment and now I'm having trouble, but I can tell you what it was about. What? It was the first time I saw you cry because it, A, I was like, he's not a sociopath. <laughs> not that sociopaths can't cry, but like I, I knew it was real and genuine and not manipulation. So the first time I saw him cry, I felt it and I was like, oh, and it was like, uh, I saw it was the final piece I hadn't seen all sides of him yet. And once I saw that final piece, I was like, okay, there was something about the reason you were crying. It was so, it was very empathetic. It was something very specific and now I can't remember it. But yeah, it was a moment where I felt you as a whole person and I was just like, oh, yeah, no, this is, this is right. This is meant to be. This is a person I want to be with forever. So yeah, I wish I could remember the exact thing you were crying about though. I used mm. to remember it. I'll look through my phone. Maybe I have it somewhere. <laughs> wow. Um, and yeah. But it, we knew pretty f fast. I mean, I think you you said I love you first. I brought up the conversation where I knew I was going to say it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and you love animals as much as I do. And you love... Yeah, you get... <laughs> you, you pull the trigger. Like, you get them. I mean, you execute. Ooh, you, all these words are scary. Okay, Shane, I give Shane a slight go, and there we go. There's another animal. Yeah, so I, we both love animals. We both love eating. We both love um, very similar things. So, And we've both yeah. always been aligned on wanting to have kids, too. That was never, like, a point of contention. Yeah, it wasn't, like, a situation where it's, like... We, we're, and what's incredible is, I mean, I feel very lucky that we were both felt ready at the same time. Like it, what? Somebody just shook me right now. Brie Noodle said, why do you say Dutch Brothers when it's actually Dutch Bros? I know. Wow. They get, yeah. Oh I see my people God. getting upset about that. And I just... <sighs> Dutch Bros sounds weird to me. I hate me. it. I hate it too. Dutch Brothers. Dutch Brothers is iconic. Yeah. Oh my god. Sounds right. Wow. And Dutch Brothers, if you're listening, please open a location in Calabasas. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Oh, I have a question. What? Are you gonna tell people what we plan on doing or where we plan on living? I feel like I when we come to California, I feel like I get the flack that it's like all on me. Um, like people are like, you need to stop taking him out of Colorado. Yeah, I mean, I do love it in both places. It's getting a little confusing where we're actually going to be. He doesn't like the winter. Hey. Our babies are coming in the winter. And I understand what he means about like, well, for the first six months, don't we want to be able to take them on walks and like, you know, Ha like we don't want to be freezing and trapped the in the house. Snow to get to their appointments, run out so in the stroll. So we're definitely going to do the first six months here in LA, and I'm like, but I don't want to be the type of people that hop back and forth with kids. I don't want them confused. Like I want them to have a place that they call home. So I can already predict that the LA house is going to turn into that, and so we're just trying to figure it out. So as of now, we're living in both places. Places, but. Yeah, I think we just, I think by the time they're in first grade or kindergarten, we have to actually figure it out. Yeah, and that's when we'll decide like where we're planting our roots for sure. I think some of the positives about California is there is the beach is so close to us. When they're a little older, there's like Universal and Disneyland. And uh, obviously my family's in Colorado and I love Colorado so much, but it's just like we are a little torn on where to be right now. Yeah. Um, hmm. are you going to homeschool the twins? <laughs> no. What's five plus 27? Stop it. 32. <laughs> oh no, the pause. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I understand. Like I am, I'm scared for all the same reasons everyone's scared about school, but I do want, just personally for me, I want our kids to have the social uh, atmosphere of a public right. school. Are there any generational curses you're trying to break while raising your kids? <sighs> Dark. Yes. <laughs> 
Um, for me, it's gonna be. How do I say this without being offensive? Hmm. My oh, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, some things I'm gonna keep personal. I would say. <laughs> I would say uh, generational curses. I mean, there's been a lot of divorce. Really? Uh, yeah, so I don't want to do that. There's, yeah, that's... No. Uh, with kids, it's really... I mean, for me and, like, you know, it's not an option with the kids. I don't want to be fighting about... I, I no. just, you know... Um, not saying, though, that if your parents do get divorced, you still... It's not like... There's so many people that are from divorced houses that are great and that are fine and that learn from it and it, get, you know what I mean? Well, so, and for a lot of scenarios, I do think it's like if the parents are miserable together, yeah. it's better for them to see their parents happy and apart than miserable and together. Yeah. But yeah, I would like to not get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> um, something that I will take from my parents specifically is like especially props to my dad for never judging the activities i wanted to partake in he was just always like you want to do gymnastics let's do it you want to do hockey let's do it i never felt judged or put down by something that i wanted to explore because i was interested in it and then even going into when i moved to california he's like well if anyone can do it it's you and it's like those small things of encouragement from parents just like Go get it. You can do it. I think go a very, very long way. Yeah. I thought of one thing you could fix. What? Your family doesn't hug. That is true. And I think our babies are going to be huggers. Yes, I will. Yes, I will be a lot more vocal with making sure that I... Because even like you and your brother, you and all of your family, you say I love you before you hang up the phone, before you do anything. And I would like to carry that from your house to ours. Ooh, from your house to ours. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, okay, are you guys bored? Probably. Um, what's your biggest regret? I don't have any. Can't have regrets. Everything happens for a reason, even the bad things. Even, like, things I, I'm embarrassed of or ashamed that I've done or said or any of that, like, you know... You can't regret things because it helps you grow as a person. I will say my only regret is sometimes not prioritizing things that were important to me. Like if there were big events back home, for instance, and I was chasing my career, I'd be like, well, I can't take off work because they'll replace me. And then I, like, and it's just not true. Like you can take time off work to go do things that are important to you. And there's two instances that I do, I like try not to regret in life either, but these are the instances I regret. It's like not showing up for things that meant a lot to me because I feared losing out in a job aspect. And I would not do that. Devil's again. advocate though. Maybe that happened so that you would learn a lesson to not do it in the future. Yes. Yeah, I, so I agree. It's not a regret because it changed the, your outlook on life in the future. Yeah. So it's a lesson. Yeah. And I'm talking like at the time, like I was working three jobs. I didn't have the money, but it didn't a matter because you can't high. recreate or replace like big life events. So go do the thing, even if it's not easy to get to. Yes. I'm not yawning at you. I just tie tie. <laughs> I haven't had my third coffee of the day. Oh man. Are you excited to see like change? Like, what do you think will like change with our personalities about kids, or what are you excited to see us like evolve with because of kids? Sandy was asking me that le that last night. She was like, "What are you excited to see about Shane once kids are in the picture?" I'm excited for my priorities to change, for my outlook on things to change. I'm excited to enter the next phase of my life. I feel like I've been trapped at 18. Not mentally, but like career-wise, priority-wise. Like I feel like I, you know, I've been a little stunted with like, especially being on YouTube where people are constantly freaking out about getting older, or constantly freaking out about like, you know, whatever. It's gonna be nice to have children that I can be like, okay, my new purpose is to raise these children. And there's so much that comes with that. And I'm excited about that. And like, looking yeah. at the next chapter. To evolve with our life. To not yeah. stay stagnant. Because Mike Pride is already shifting. Like, like I'll, I'll be like, okay, I need to do this video or something. And then I'll just be like, well, you know, 
we're having kids and this is not. So at the end of the day, why am I stressed about this? Who cares? Like it is shifting my priorities already and they're not born yet. Yeah. 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 And I feel so fortunate that we're, we're able to do that, to like shift our focus to that and that to be a huge priority in our life. Not that we want to abandon all of you, but, and we won't. No. Um, okay. We guys be doing a baby shower. No. Everyone keeps asking, like everyone in my real life keeps asking me that. Really? And yes. Like my friends that I do have, all of our family, like Sandy was asking me last night. My mom always asked me. Teresa's been asking. And I just think our life isn't traditional. You know, like we're not a traditional couple. We didn't have a traditional wedding. We're not pregnant ourselves. I, it, you know, we just... We don't have a traditional trajectory. Right. Which I'm fine with. I don't personally, I feel like other people feel like we're missing out on these things, but I don't have the FOMO myself. No. And we could all die tomorrow. I mean, God, I hope not. Why are you knocking on glass? I got to knock I, on I, wood, everyone baby. Says that, but I'm fine with the glass. It's always knock worked it. for me. I don't think. Okay. And I always have to do four. All right. Um, okay. We'll save this one for our audio-only podcast. But somebody said, what are your first impressions of the new BB Big Brother house guests? Oh, my gosh. I guess we could react to that within that. Um, so what's the plan? With what? The audio-only podcast. We're going to go do an audio-only podcast. And it's going to be half whatever's going on in our life and half Big Brother? I don't remember what I said earlier, but I think my plan is I want to do more audio only stuff because it's more fun, less pressure, less ex- like hard to put together. I was going to say expensive, it's really, but you know, like I'm still obviously going to pay people if they come on, but well, no, I, I want, I, I want it to be something that I can throw in on like on Apple podcasts. So if you're already subscribed to our podcast, the Shane Dawson podcast, if you're already subscribed, you'll get it in there. So I think that's my plan. It's like me and Jared talking about conspiracies, me and Chris talking about, you know, bears, me and you fighting. Like it might be fun to throw in some additional audio only um, at no extra cost. Yeah, and it is a little easier for us to produce, especially in those months where we have newborn children. You know, like after they go to sleep, if we can squeeze it in, that's much easier than the setup of a podcast that takes an hour to two, and then you have to edit it and make a thumbnail. And right. Um. Okay. Somebody said. Uh, are you planning on getting more animals? <laughs> no. No. Especially not at the moment. Not with the kids. Riley is just to a point where she's like trained and. Oh, somebody asked it what our raising canes orders are. I've only ever been there once and that was just to get the sauce. But it, is it true that they literally do their order? They go bippity boppity boop. What can I get for you? Or something no like that. No way. Yes. I guess I've never really been. Yeah, I'm like, is that a real thing? That's very interesting. Um, Should we go to a movie? There's nothing out. I keep telling you there is. In, what? Uh, the oh, Elemental. I want to oh, see it. Oh, God. No. I want to no see it. No offense to Elemental fans, but I'm just, I can't with cartoons uh, right now. I'm not ready. Let's well, save it for when we're dads. Get ready for when we are dads. We're going to do that. There's also Haunted Mansion. <laughs> well, <laughs> also, no offense to Haunted Mansion fans, but like... I don't like Disneyland in general, so to go watch a movie based on a ride is a lot. Wow. That is a lot for me. That is a lot to ask. <laughs> I remember when Pirates of the Caribbean came out and every girl in my class was like, Johnny Depp, fuck me! And I'm like, he's 40 and we're all 12. This oh is weird. Uh, but I'm, I, I think it was a good movie. I don't really remember. God, that was so crazy, that whole moment. Remember that? Yeah. Anyways. Remember when Pirates of the Caribbean was every girl's personality trait? It was Pirates of the Caribbean, Nightmare Before Christmas, and My Chemical Romance. And it was like, you're either one of those or bitch, you're irrelevant. And is it crazy I was none of those? I was the biggest loser. Like, I love the biggest loser. <laughs> biggest loser, Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Oh, that was my Move shit. Move that bus! Yeah. We actually started watching that now, and it's it's not as I remembered it. We start. <laughs> We clicked on it because it's on Netflix and you fell asleep after three minutes. Well, yeah, it was my bedtime. But I just didn't remember how over the top and cheesy it was. Like, I love yeah. Ty Pennington, but it was like a little like put on, you know? Right. Anyway, oh my gosh. What? I'm trying to find the freeway entrance. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this chill slash fight 
session with Shane and I. A little something. Gosh, this lady. What? People that put their feet all the way up on the dash that are so that brave. Scary to me. It, yeah, like comfortable maybe, but it's like the fear outweighs the comfortability for me. It's just like if you're going to crash, you're folded in half. I hope she's going to be okay. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will put at the top of the description box below a link to our first audio only podcast. Uh, show it some love. Check it out, y'all. Audio only girls. If you like it, we'll keep doing it. If you don't, we won't. <laughs> Shout out to Lizzie. Hope you're feeling better. Your check is in the mail. And we'll see you next week. I love you very much. Goodbye. And you, oh, you have to do our outro. And that. Oh, okay. You do not. Three, two, and that's, that's the sip. sip. Ah, <sighs> bye, guys. <laughs>